welcome back to this continuation video of a pesadarize api so i made the first phase which contained six videos and now i want to continue and finish the whole uh, the whole process of ambassadorage api so if you're new just subscribe and hit the notification bell so in this video what i'm going to teach i'm going to teach about the stk push callback and handling the data that is being sent after a person enters this pin mpesa pin from stk push then it gets and stored them into the data so in this video too that i did here the part uh the mpesa stk this part the 3b of mpesa storing the mpesa stk data people are saying that they are not getting the they're not getting the callback the the json data that i described there because most people didn't have an active domain so they didn't know how where they could test it so you can see from the callback this is the stk push.php that we made in the video so uh we i said i i i inserted this link which is online from this domain which is an active domain and most people don't have an active domain that's why they were not getting the callback so i want to show you on how you can test it on your on your local so that you can understand what uh, how it is occurring and what is happening so in order to do this you will first do this you will uh come to the, you will create an account at ngrok and if you don't know how to set up an ngrok account uh, or an ngrok in your in your pc you can just pause this video then go to a video that i have posted before this it's how you can install ngrok in your pc then come back to this so that you can understand what is happening so this is what you should do you, you should come back you should hit control b control c you can see from here this is uh this is our project which is also the same as which is we have opened in the vs code you can see it's located at localhost then we under this folder which is mpesa dara jpi so we can tunnel it from ngrok by doing this you create an account then do that then you link your account then so after i've linked your account from the video that i i will share in this video uh, in this link you can just come here then hit uh windows key r then open cmd then you can just write ngrok then write http then you'll write Ate, potato that's what where we want to tunnel it then click enter it will open an online link where you can just share this link to anybody and it will be live and this link will be it's, it's acting like it's a live a live website or it's on live server where you can share it for others so it's located like the same way that a domain is located in the host then you can share so you just copy this then after copying it this you can just come here this link then come to this your your browser then just click it there when you load it you will see that it will locate your zamp because my zamp server it's on that's why it's on now you can just come here you can see like for this project that is there we can just come and add it here so that you can see it's working well with the zam server you can see it's there now from to our tutorial here this tutorial what we are dealing with you can see we can just come here to this then locate this callback this callback url which is here this callback which is located on that folder then copy that then after that come to this then paste there so it means it's located on this folder and there so when we reload it you will see that it's there we are getting this because it's a callback so it's not handling there so this is the link that we will use as our callback you can just come here and you can see from this dashboard when we reload uh these logs are happening here so you can just come here to this uh, your sdk push then copy this here delete the, the one that I, I added then just paste it there you can see this is the live one now we are going to trigger the sdk push then we will see if it will add the data the transaction data to this file so when it adds it means that this callback will send the data then we, i can show you on how you can manipulate the data and store it in a database so let's test it first let me first share my screen here 
Mm, I will do this. I'll share my Android phone screen so that you can see how when I'm entering the pin and triggering the SDK push. So there it is. This is my Android phone. You can see. Okay, as you can see, this is my Android phone. When I do this, this is what is happening. So let me come here. You can see I've entered my number. Let me just reload this specific file for Mpesa SDK so that we can taste so i'll come here then do this and let me re re reduce it as that so that you can see the mpesa sdk here then i will just do that will reload when i reload you can see i've gotten a success let's wait you can see do you want to pay to there so let me enter the mpesa pin I will hide it so that you can not get my pin and just do that when we do that i will click complete okay and now let's wait for the confirmation message and see if it will deposit it will send the transaction data to this so that's the confirmation message i've paid one bob to uh the raja sandbox so i will clear that then i can come here back and see if it hasn't so you can see so let me come here again and test it with a different amount here first let me test it with uh, two shillings i will test it with two shillings then do this come here and reload it again and reload it again here let me reload so when I reload it, I will get an SDK push, then enter my pin once again. When I enter my pin, I will click OK, then wait for the confirmation message. And enter the confirmation message. There it is. There's the confirmation message. So there. Now let me come back to uh, here. This is the, you can see it has sent here this, the callback data. Now let me format it so that you can see the data that has been sent. This is the two shilling that I've entered and the transaction ID. Let's confirm if the transaction ID is the same that the one I've received in my person. So let me just copy this and come back here. You can see from there this is the same transaction id that uh, that's the same with the one that i've sent here so uh, i will show you in the next video on how you can store the uh these transactions into the database then we continue and continue so if you're new just subscribe